Hello everyone, welcome back to my video. Today I'm going to tell you how to make animation sequences in uh, UEFN. So um, let's just get straight to it. This video I kind of got the inspiration from from the FN Create channel, which uh, did a tutorial on this too, but they didn't show how to do certain things and I wanted to show you how to do it today. So let's get to it. So first, um, I would import any FBX model that has a skeleton mesh, such as uh, this Regulus here uh, that I have. So I imported the skeleton mesh in here, and that's why. Then this is what this is. Then I put in the textures I wanted. Um, so then I went ahead, and for this, I'm going to show you how to do the animation. So we do not go to animation like it would seem. You first go to schematic cinematics and then level sequence. I'm gonna name this uh, uh, WAV because I have named it way too many times. <laughs> so uh, then we double click on this. This animation uh, window will pop up. I would recommend clicking on the regulus before clicking track uh, plus track. So then when you click plus track, act through the sequencer and it should say whatever you have selected. You click it and uh, now you can see this here. So right now I'm probably gonna keep it at this formation and stance. I'm not gonna really edit it much because um, I wanna get this done quick for you guys. So uh, we right click on this and we click edit uh, edit with FK control rig and then uh, have reduce keys enabled. Create and then you should have yourself this window right here and you're gonna see that there is multiple different keys that you can do and I will show you uh, the purpose of these keys if you never used animation before okay so now I want to go ahead and make this wave so I'm go so I don't have uh, I don't think I have the other thing enabled so I can't really do it uh, here so I'm gonna show you from directly on the sequencer window here so I'm going to go ahead and uh, this one I'm going to do a wave for. I'm going to do a wave. So I'm going to go ahead and look for the shoulder. I'm going to do the left side um, for this wave. And I'm going to go ahead and lift it up a bit. Well, actually, I have to move this first. Move it to whatever place you want. And then you go ahead and lift it. You should see a key pop up on whichever you have selected. So now I can go ahead and edit this um, to how I want it and uh, it will work and this is how it should look normally which means you did it correctly so if uh, you did the animation it should look something like this and I'm gonna click play for this now it is a bit choppy I know I am very aware about that but that's how it should look normally so then after that you can go ahead and uh, go back up and you can go to the regulus right here uh, click on it and then right click and then uh, you click bake animation sequence and then this file should pop up. I would recommend putting in the content folder and I'm going to name this uh, wave 2.0 because I already had a file named wave. So then I okay it. Okay, I guess you can't put a uh, point in there. So I'm gonna put wave two. Click okay and export the animation asset. So now it should say this right here. Now if you want, now basically you com completed the whole sequence for the animation and it should pop up right there and it should have the thing right here now we're not completely done yet because that's just making the animation if you want to go ahead and make the animation actually working and actually um, existent in the game you go to um, and you got to create something so you can go ahead and do it so first I would get an animated mesh um, right here and then go into the details of it so now you have the skeleton mesh. I'm going to go ahead and put the regulus in here and it should pop up right here. And then I'm going to go ahead and put the animation, which is regulus uh, two wave two. And 
now it should um, basically be complete but you gotta also do this so I would before I put the play animation I would put whatever you want to, to be activated by um, I would pull out the trigger and I would go ahead and um, and then have everything be set to the original thing and everything set to itself on triggered uh, it wouldn't be have anything yet until you go ahead and come here and then put play in the arraignment of a trigger which I grabbed the picker and then clicked on that and now it says on triggered okay so I loaded into the game and as you can see it's going to basically start like this with really nothing and then boom there you go so I figured out that um, you basically don't need to go ahead and really set anything inside the game and it's basically done after that and if you want it to be looping it's going to be looping go to the skeleton mesh component and then put the elements in whatever is the biggest one I believe is the one that's going to show first so this is the uh, regulus body uh, so it works like that then this is the pants and then this is the poncho which is for some reason glitchy okay um, and now it's um, basically built like this now I'm going to turn off looping uh, on the animated mesh I'm gonna turn off the loop I'm going to end the game and then I'm gonna push the changes so I can show you how it looks like with a body itself okay so now we're in the game and the game is started so as you can see this is what I like to call the test dummy because this is how we made the animation but isn't actually usable and then we have the animation itself which you're gonna be using in the game so you can delete this if you want and so we have this trick right here so if I walk on it then it waves and it doesn't loop since I turned that feature off and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and this tutorial if you guys did please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time I'm pretty sure it doesn't work after multiple times huh yep it doesn't okay I was gonna do the wave for buy but you can't do it multiple times so goodbye